General Physics 2 is brought to you by Physics Classroom. After a thorough exploration of how image are formed in spherical mirrors, let's associate what we have learned in studying the mirror equation. Mathematically, the object distance d sub o, image distance d sub i, and the focal length f of the mirror can be found using the mirror formula. The object size s sub o, and the image size s sub i, can be determined using the size formula. And the following conventions, for signs, are helpful in using the equation for solving problems. For concave mirror, if the image formed is real, the focal length, the object distance, and the image distance are all positive. If the image formed is virtual, the focal length, and the object distance are both positive, while the image distance is negative. Can you figure out why? However, for the convex mirror, the image that would be formed would always be virtual. In that case, the focal length, and the image distance are both negative, while the object distance is positive. Again, can you figure out why? Considering the mirror formula, we can derive the following formula. The first derived formula is for finding the focal length f. The second derived formula is for finding the distance of the object d sub o. The third derived formula is for finding the distance of the image d sub i. Considering the size formula, we can derive the following formula. The first derived formula is for finding the distance of the object d sub o. The second derived formula is for finding the distance of the image d sub i. The third derived formula is for finding the size of the object s sub o. And the fourth derived formula is for finding the size of the image s sub i. In order to make use of the mirror equation, let us solve the problem below. A student 168 centimeters tall is standing 230 centimeters from a concave mirror. An image is formed 150 centimeters from the mirror. What is the focal length of the mirror? What is the size of the image? Describe the image. And for the solution, first write the given and the required quantities, also the appropriate formula, and then proceed to carrying out the computation. The image is smaller than the object, inverted, real, and located between the center of curvature C and the focus F. In the given problem, the object is beyond C. The ray diagram is shown below. Let us solve problem number one, given the figure below. A 25 cm cylinder is 854 mm from a concave mirror. The mirror's focal length is 427 mm. Number one. How far from the mirror will the image be? Number two. What is the size of the image? Number three. Describe the image formed. And here's the solution to problem number one, with the ray diagram given below. As seen in the figure above, the image is the same size as the object, inverted, real, and located at the center of curvature C. And now let us solve problem number two, given the figure below. An object is 45 centimeters tall and found between the focus F and the vertex V of a concave mirror. 
If the image is formed 123 cm behind the mirror whose focal length is 98 cm, determine the following. Number 1. How far from the mirror is the object? Number 2. What is the size of the image? Number 3. Describe the image formed. And here's the solution to problem number 2, with the ray diagram given below. As seen in the figure above, the image is larger than the object, erect, virtual, and located behind the mirror. For your performance task, solve problem number 3. A 39 cm image is formed 1 meter behind a convex mirror. If the object is located 1.5 meter in front of the mirror. Number 1. What is the size of the object? Number 2. How far is the focus from the vertex of the mirror? Number 3. Describe the image formed. Please post your answers and solution to problem number 3 for you to gain 20 points. Thank you, and good luck to your forthcoming examination.